Hello and welcome to the movie podcast review of Men. My name is Shabazz and joining me are two other men. Uh, two other white men. Oh, uh, <laughs> Daniel and Anthony. Daniel, how are you doing today? Uh, you know, as a white man, I am doing great. Personally, times, I'm doing really I, I well. I heard times are rough for white men. Is this just still true? <sighs> are they? I mean, I couldn't tell sitting on top of my <laughs> ivory tower. You know, I'm doing great. No, no, I'm doing. I'm doing okay. Honestly, uh, I, I mean, this is me talking. This is not me talking. Is all white men? No, I'm oh, doing well. Just, just as you. No, I'm doing well. I think I'm very excited because of all of the incredible things happening right now uh, specifically for our podcast for the movie podcast uh but me as a person i'm doing okay i'm doing pretty good right now it's nice to have the nice weather we always like to bring up the weather on this show yeah i think people p- want to know what the weather's like where we are right yes i mean this is the thing though by the time they start listening to the episode the weather will probably be different very drastically different and also, yes uh, you you mentioned we had a we had, we had a comment that came in recently from from someone who's catching up from our episodes from the beginning. The weather is completely off then at this point. This guy's oh. well, the seasons. Right <laughs> yeah, guys, it is uh, hail's winter storm outside. I don't know how you're saying it's 30 degrees, you know, <laughs> but yeah, doing okay. Amazing. Amazing. Anthony, what about yourself? How are you on this lovely day that will not say what day it is to keep the illusion that we record when people least expect it? I'm not going to talk about the weather because I feel like that's, oh. that's our thing. No more weather. But no the weather. weather was great. No. Um, <laughs> well, you know, no more weather, no more I'm Oscars. Enjoying my life with you guys. Is that with my fellow men? That's, that's, um, that's sweet. That's sweet. It, but also it's like sweet, cryptic. but also sounds problematic in some yeah. scenarios. Yeah. You, know? yeah. You, you guys might die at the end, but you know, I'm oh, enjoying well, it. Okay. <laughs> don't we all though don't we all <laughs> that is absolutely terrible to hear and anthony thank you for making my day worse shay are you doing okay though that's that's the first that's the, that's the priority as as you're leading us you through this be. review look if if you listen to our kids in the hall episode you know that i'm talking about i'm trying to eat healthier i think we're all, we're all trying to we're all trying to get uh fit this summer for for men too i think we're going to be in the sequel hopefully is it make a sequel is it a men's is it a men's fit men summer? Yeah, it's fit, fit, fit men summer. summer. Uh, yeah, two men's. This is uh, Toronto we'll men's summer. Of, you know Toronto what I mean? Men's, Toronto, Tor- men's Toronto, 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 Toronto men's summer. We're, are, I, I'd say we're probably the least Toronto man's sounding man's in Toronto. Yeah, eh? you you think so? You think so? <laughs> Anthony definitely. Is <laughs> Anthony's like, yeah, yeah. like he yeah, was eh? gearing up. Yeah, the, the Toronto version of this movie would be called men's. 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 And it would just yeah. be a bunch of men's just, you know, <laughs> shooting their, uh, their, their, their Toronto like, accents out. Yo, was good, girl. Yeah. Yo, you look oh. nice right now. You yeah. know, like that. Like, they'd be talking like, I felt bad doing that. I felt like I was appropriating culture, even though it's from the city that I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is. Yeah, no, we're okay. We're okay. I think we're okay. We're allowed because we're we're from here. You know, that's true. We're allowed yeah. to do it because we're from here. That's how. Yes. that's how we get away with everything. That's 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 the rule. I think it's true. And as always, you can always catch a brand new episode of that movie podcast. And when I say that movie podcast, I mean the movie podcast because there's only one and it's the, the only best movie podcast. It's the only and it's the best. Like that's that's it, it's a for sure thing. I think that was a review we got. The only and the best. Yes. Or is that a soap opera? I mean, you want know it does sound like a soap opera. <laughs> the like only and years. the best. Yeah. The only and the best. But again, every single Monday, you can catch a brand new episode of the movie podcast. And throughout the week, we drop review episodes just like this one on all the latest movies and series. Make sure you're following us at the movie podcast on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok, Letterbox. We're even on LinkedIn. We're so professional. We're on LinkedIn. <laughs> You want to apply for a job at the movie podcast? Well, we don't have anything open right now, but you can definitely still subscribe to us on LinkedIn because we're going to be dropping company updates on there too. Why not? Hey, yeah. things change. We're, we're going public. Bought out. We're going. We're public. going public. We're public. Let's uh, let's take the summer off. You know, we'll just we'll get someone else to come we'll in here a bunch and of interns. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and just, not just pay them. The show for it. Not pay <laughs> them. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, we're also on YouTube where you can see our lovely faces. And especially whenever we have these great interviews, these these awesome interviews that we get a chance to do, they're available on YouTube. You get to see our faces and the people that we're talking to's faces as well. So that's always a great thing to do. Make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube. Ring the bell for notifications. I feel like those are some of the, the buzzwords that are thrown out there when we talk about YouTube right i think so yeah i think they say like slam dunk that subscribe button i think it's that's what a, they say now ring the bell 
You know, yeah. ring the ring, ring the good old bells. The good old bells. <laughs> Ding and, uh, dong! And, and, there's a brand new episode of the show out click right on now. The likeies, the likes, the big thumbs up. Uh, okay. Like the, now this is this is the Toronto Man's podcast again. Yeah, we'll it back is. To it. What else do yeah. you do on YouTube? <laughs> Subscribes. <laughs> So and leave us a comment. Yeah. Anthony loves reading comments. It's helping with his reading skills as well, so that's great. Uh, he loves reading them out to <laughs> us. Yeah, <laughs> I get angry. No, I don't. I don't get angry. <laughs> They're interesting. I feel like you know, like when you when you post a video or on YouTube and you get these comments, it's just like they're from everywhere, all sorts yeah. of people. They're all interesting to read. Um, Daniel yeah, told me I that. shouldn't uh, I shouldn't reply to them because I might well, I might start fires. I did say, Anthony, don't throw <laughs> threats out in them that's don't i think that's I'll those were my that's what those were my exact words i said maybe don't threaten the commenters on our video no here's the thing you know we've we've been presence on the internet for a long time and you know i think you have to grow very uh thick skin when it comes to certain things you know but there is also that one comment sometimes that just like you know like look at this it's stupid right big eyebrow portuguese person <laughs> i hate what he said about you know i hate what he said about the offer i'm gonna attack you know what i mean like no but yeah sometimes it's those ones but here's the thing i'm just glad you watched it I'm just glad that you you took time out of your day, regardless if you wanted me to die, if you wanted Anthony to die, if you wanted Shay to die. Mm -hmm. The the fact that you thought about us for that brief moment in time, I take that as a win. Hey, if 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 we've incited you to write a comment to 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 type on your keyboard, then our job is done. We we incited a conversation, whether it's negative or positive. Hey, it starts somewhere. And you know what is another you know what another another great place to leave us a comment? It's on Apple Podcasts. You can leave us a review. You can drop five stars on there too. One, two, three, four, five. We're getting so close to hitting two hundred five star reviews. I feel like we've been talking about it for so long, and we're almost there. We're right at the tip of it. Get us to that two hundred five star reviews, and maybe we'll do a giveaway. Maybe you know I'm I as yeah. we always say I just want I want to get past the tip. You know what I mean? I I think that's, that is, that is the same. I was that like, is what you, you know, say. that is, that, I think I wanted to put that on our shirts. I said, get past the tip. We'll be fine. You know what I mean? Watch when we, tip, watch when we hit dot, you'll be fine. 200 and then the initial, the, the, now we have to hit like 300 is like now we, we got yeah. to 200 too long. And now we have to hit 300. <laughs> get, us to one, <laughs> get us to 1,000. Get us to 1,000. Yeah, 1,000. So we're like, we're safe for the next. You know, I, I want us to be the biggest podcast ever. Is that aiming well, we, too high? No, because we are the movie podcast. Yeah, we are the. True. The. Yeah. The. Well, yeah, the or the. I don't know. I don't know which one's right. But the both greatest. The La greatest. La rata alada. <laughs> God, what are you? What are you showing me? <laughs> Holy God! <laughs> Again, we're on Apple Podcasts, like I mentioned, and also you can leave us a review, or at least you can leave us five stars on Spotify as well. Really helps the show out. Join our Discord as well. We're having some great conversations in there, and you can write into the show. Again, positive, negative, whatever you want to tell us. We love hearing it because at least it incites conversation. And you can write into hello at the moviepodcast.ca. Check out our show notes for all those links and more. Daniel, I'm sure you've got a now. Announcements under those eyebrows of yours. Go ahead and give me some. Oh, hold on, let me just pull them back here. Whoosh. I'm just gonna pull them back to see what's there. No, you know we have a lot going on in the show right now. May has. I feel like May just started. Here's his, actually, I lied. I feel like May hasn't even begun yet, but somehow we're almost halfway through it. So just there's some weird time warp that we're in right now. But I will say there's lots of announcements. First and foremost, Shay mentioned it a bit earlier in the show. We have a lovely interview with the Kids in the Hall stars, Dave Foley and Mark McKinney. It mean the world to us. If you go download that episode on, on wherever podcast servers, go watch it on YouTube. We are just, you know, we are so lucky to have just this comedian royalty joining us on the show and canadian royalty we're just so happy go give that some love we also have a great interview with up and coming actress uh devin nakoda of sneaker ella which is a movie we had a lot of fun with go check that out uh lots of reviews lots of you know spoiler casts available if you want to get caught up with our batman spoiler cast you can our doctor strange in the multiverse of madness spoiler cast is out now too and then the movies don't stop because may is just full of movies it is non-stop and uh you know earlier this week we dropped our chippendale rescue rangers review go listen to that and uh you know you could also go listen to our interview with akiva schaefer of the lonely island who also directed chippendale rescue rangers which is you know pretty amazing to say that another you know 
comedian, uh, another comedy royalty is joining us on this show. We've been really lucky to have some really incredible special guests joining us. Um, and hopefully uh, that won't stop. Uh, we do have a giveaway going on right now. We did partner with our good friends at Disney Studios Canada. We want to send you and a friend to watch the Bob's Burgers movie early. So if you want to enter that contest, like Shay said, go check out our socials. You could also email us your favorite Bob's Burger characters um, and to enter into our giveaway. And then we'll let you know by May 23rd if you're going to be seeing that movie early or not. So thank you so much again to Disney for partnering with us on that. And yeah, lots more. I'm sure I'm forgetting things because there's just so much, so many things out there on the show right now. We don't stop. We don't there's stop. a lot. But you know what the best part about having a lot of announcements is? There's also a lot of episodes. So you can always go back. Oh, my God. Listen to more episodes and maybe miss out. Maybe hear some of the announcement that maybe we forgot to mention. Who knows? There's so much, man. Like, we should just, like, like let's just hire interns, like we said. Take the summer off. Mm-hmm. And then we could just chill, you know? Yeah, I'm down. I, it works for me. Again, the movie that we're reviewing today is called Men. This is written and directed by Alex Garland, who you might be familiar with Ex Machina or Annihilation. The film stars Jesse Buckley, Rory Kinnear, and Papa Isidu. Men will release in theaters May 20th, 2022 in Canada by VVS Films. And we want to thank VVS as well for inviting us to come watch this movie. And by A24 in the United States. Daniel. Do you want to hit us with the synopsis for men? In the aftermath of a personal tragedy, Harper retreats alone to the beautiful English countryside, hoping to have found a place to heal. But someone or something from the surrounding woods appears to be stalking her. What begins as a simmering dread becomes a fully formed nightmare inhabited by her darkest memories and fears in visionary filmmaker Alex Garland's feverish, shape-shifting new horror film. Thank you so much for that, Daniel. Anthony, give us your first reactions on men and also the movie men. <laughs> oh, just on both. Um, <laughs> what do you think about men? <laughs> men about men in society men today. They're cool. Not great. Um, but yeah, so going into this film, I was super excited. Alex Garland, A24, uh, horror. It was everything you kind of want from a film that's, that kind of comes from A24. That you know it's going to be some weird psychological uh, horror that you're going to deal with. And that's what you you really get. This is a real psychological horror film, which includes some, some interesting body horror, but really focuses on uh, the tragedy and grief of, of loss. And, you know, Jesse Buckley's character, uh, Harper, she goes to this, this beautiful English uh, countryside estate. And she starts to, you know, in, I guess, interact with these weird visions of this one man who kind of stalks and haunts her throughout this film. And they come in different, different sizes and different, um, occupations. <laughs> different sizes. <laughs> um, there's, there's a child version, there's a police version, but they all look the same. And there's this real sinisterness that comes from the first half of this film where you kind of like, what am I, what's happening? What's, what am I, watching right now is there something that's going to really is this really happening is this something that she's envisioning because no one else around her is seeing this um or seeing what she's seeing but you know she is interacting with other people some there are some women that she interacts with that uh, don't they just look like normal people they're normal women but it starts to go down this path where you see that the messaging behind this, this movie is really focused on men who really, who put a lot of pressure and guilt on women. And it, and it, and it just tells this interesting story of how there are different themes that are incorporated into it a lot of gaslighting is incorporated into it and you get like a priest you get a police officer you get this um the the owner of a of the estate and they all have like their own characteristic of a man that is in superimposed into into her character who's now she's she's dealing with grief and she's dealing with guilt as well because um the, the 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 tragic loss that she's had it goes down this interesting path and then the ending kicks in is just some interesting, weird things. And it really reminded me, like Daniel, you said it best. It, it, 
you're you you tend to start watching and not understanding what you're watching. You're just watching things, and that's where that ending is. It's just a lot of watching. Um, but it really reminded me of Darren Darren Aronofsky's Mother, where you're just watching things happen, and you don't know what to do with it, and you're 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 contemplating it. And you're like, is it, did he mean this or did he mean that? There's the the ending is one of those very vague endings where you're trying to get the message that the director was trying to get across to you. And I just, I'm, I'm in a weird spot with it. I'm just like, what was, what was the overall, what was the purpose of this film to me or to the general audience? What was the message he was trying to cross? And I feel like this would be a movie that a lot of people will study and like peel the onion and learn little tidbits. And no, this, this sequence, as you can see, will mean this. And there's so many theories that will come out of it. But for me, I, I'm in an interesting spot with it where I like I liked it, but I don't see myself ever going back to watching it because it really didn't leave that impact. It was almost anticlimactic at the end where I was expecting to be, ah, uh, that's what you meant. Ah, that was the overall message. And I felt like it was lost. Again, I, I'm not this, you know, the sharpest tool in the shed, but I feel like that's what a lot of people who came out of our theater feeling the same way. It's interesting, you know, what you, what you just mentioned, Anthony. I just want to springboard off of what you just said that, you know, you don't feel as compelled to go back to it. But I also feel like I, I'm in the exact same boat as you. I'm in the exact same shed as you, actually, I'll say. But... I it, I feel like this film would benefit from multiple viewings. You'll probably pick up on a lot more things on multiple viewings and a lot more little nuances and, you know, things that have happened. But like you said, like there isn't something that's really making me want to, you know, kind of come back to this film. I really enjoyed the first 45 minutes of this movie. I think it was laying the groundwork for some really interesting, uh, you know, motives and, scenarios and it was just generally unnerving throughout and i was really digging that i think the third act of this film like a lot of alex garland films i think which you know we looked at three films that he's directed so far with ex machina with annihilation and now this i think the third act for a lot of those films it's where it's either going to make it for you or break it for you because that's where he really likes to get um, you know, like, let's get nuts. Let's go super high concept. Let's go. Um, let's really make you think. And I loved us, you know, peeling the onions ourselves av- as we were, you know, discussing this movie after watching it, because there's some beautiful imagery in this. There's some great allegories in this. But what I found is that the third act for this movie, again, not giving anything away, I just found myself scratching my head more metaphorically than you know, being like, ah, this is what this is, you know, like I wasn't making those connections. And again, I think, you know, I think you and I, Anthony and Shay, like we're pretty sharp tools in that shed. We're, we're, we're pretty good. Um, and we get the general idea, but I think it's the execution and it's the actual final result in this film that makes it a little, a little bit of a, you know, you're either in and you're out by the end of it. Yeah. I mean, you guys are pretty much covering, my thoughts as well here. I mean, when we when you look at a movie like this, at the end of this movie, it reminded me a lot of the ending from Annihilation, where the Annihilation ending was really got me exhausted uh, with how repetitive it was. This bore a very similar, um, you know, reaction out of me. I'm like, oh my god, we're still doing this. What is the point of this? I know it's graphic. This movie was a lot more graphic than I expected, and it kept going and going and going. But I I just wasn't sure what the point of it was. And, and like you mentioned, Daniel, like the, the, the first kind of half of this film, I was really engaged and I still loved how this movie looked. And, and I'm really happy that, you know, Jesse Buckley and, and Rory Kinnear really were the ones that kept me engaged in this film because Rory Kinnear is one of those actors who I've seen in James Bond. I've seen in the imitation game, but that's about it. But he's always been kind of playing a character in the background. I never really got to see his acting chops fully formed. And this film, not only is he, you know, playing, this one character that we see in the trailer, but multiple characters that like Anthony mentioned, there's so many different personalities that he's kind of bringing out and they're all, they're all so terrible in, in, in some ways, but also somewhat you're like, yeah, I, I can see this in somebody else that I've seen before, but he was fantastic. And then Jesse Buckley, she had such a heartfelt and, you know, emotional portrayal in this film and i absolutely love watching it. and i and i hope we get to see more of her because i'm, I'm great performance familiar. yeah i'm not too familiar with her work <clears throat> but they're the ones that kind of kept me engaged story-wise 
again, liked what I was seeing in the beginning, but then by the end, I just felt a little lost and I just felt like, am I stupid? Am I not getting it? Or is this just really high concept that, or is it just super in my face? Is it that obvious? Like, is it, is it what I think it is? And it, does that seem too obvious to me? Um, so I think for that, that, that this is the movie that's going to cause, you know, not discourse or anything like that, that but it's going to be causing a lot of different opinions. And I think, like Anthony mentioned, there's going to be a lot of people breaking down this film saying, well, this represents this, this represents that. And I'm sure all of it is great, but on execution, not all of it landed. And I think that's kind of where I'm at with this film. Yeah. And, 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 you know, I think that's so interesting because like, you know, like we were saying, I think there's so much to pull from this movie on repeat viewings, little things you'll notice, things you didn't see, but I'm like, at least on this first viewing, I'm not, I'm not feeling compelled to go revisit it again. You know, I felt the same way after Annihilation where I was just like, like you Shay, you know, we saw it together. Like after that, I was like, okay, you know, the, the highs of Annihilation, which I'm talking about, like the bear scene in that cabin, I think those high, that high, even though I wasn't too hot on that film, that scene, that sequence, I think was made me feel more than what I felt in men. And I know it's, it's not always the best thing to compare to different movies, different scenarios. Sure. But I'm just saying as like a, a visceral reaction, it's a feeling. Um, it's a feeling, you know? And I think with men, I felt a little kind of flat throughout. Yes. I was uh, feeling the unnerved, like feeling unnerved, but once you kind of, understood what was going on with it i was just like okay and then i didn't really feel anything more as the movie was going on i wonder if it's you know like i don't want to say it but like we are three men so we're looking at it in in a different point of view and we're trying to like open our minds to you know what it would like be like if it was if we were women viewing this scenario this this movie i I wonder Mm -hmm. what their takes on this film would be as well like what what would what would they, they feel when it comes to watching it? Would they feel the same? Would they get a different type of reaction to it? I, I'm very curious to see where the comments and the reviews and after everything is out, like what people think about this movie, both men and women. Because uh, it really draws that line. It, it is, it is <laughs> the movie's called Men, and it is focusing on the men in general, like how they act and how they deal with so many different little micro aggressions and micro movements and you know comments that like like you said anthony too like are just kind of like gaslighting her as well during her stay yeah no uh, i i am very curious to see from a woman's perspective what they kind of grasp from this movie because yes for sure there's a lot that you can kind of put yourself into this character and i you know again that's a testament to jesse buckley for just creating such a phenomenal performance uh but before we kind of get to our final reactions or final review sorry recommendations do you guys have anything else left to say about men uh honestly like i think you know we said it a lot in this uh i will always be a fan of alex garland you know i think ex machina is his you know his magnum opus like it's a wonderful film i love that film and even with all of his films i will still be there for day one with them uh yeah. but i did want to say shout out to like you no know, to jesse buckley and to rory kinnear who are just phenomenal in this movie still like they they carry this movie mm-hmm. um throughout the entirety of it yeah no i daniel you said it like I, I i still love alex garland and not not saying that this is a bad movie but no not at all this is this is a great film still in in, 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 its, in its in its respects um but for me ex machina and his writing for dread are still my my top two at the moment but let's start off with anthony anthony give us your final recommendation for men i would definitely add it to add it to the queue um this is something that you can rent when it comes out it's not something that you have to rush to the theaters to watch and or wait for it to show up on a streaming service uh maybe through a24's screening room but uh this is this is definitely an add to the queue i think there will be a lot of conversations coming out of this film. And I think just like mother, which had a lot of conversations on what it represented, um, will come out and people will theorize and it might have a cult classic, not a cult classic, but it, it might create like a cult following following in yeah. terms of just what this movie is supposed to mean. And I think Alex Garland really like, even though annihilation and I haven't seen annihilation, but hearing from you guys, annihilation, uh, not being his, you know, after coming from Ex Machina, his best film, it still has like some sort of semblance in the world. Like people still talk about it. And I think this is Definitely, a movie yeah. that will, will still be talked about for a really long time. And um, it'll have its little niche following for sure. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, add it to the sure. queue. Awesome. Daniel, what about yourself? Yeah, if you know, for myself, I'm also going to say add it to the queue. Like Anthony said, I think this is going to be a film that I wouldn't be surprised pop up on a bunch of people's top 10 at the end of the year because it just kind of has that feeling to it that people will really like it for myself you know i enjoyed it i think it had a lot of highs and a lot of lows but you know i was at least interested throughout the third act i think was be make or break for a lot of people but i think you know the visuals and just the sheer spectacle the spectacle of what is happening and the strength of the performances are enough to keep you in there so add it to your queue check it out when it's available to rent at home uh like anthony said it's not one that you have to run to the theater to go watch but um if you're if if you're a big fan of alex garland i think then you will get something from this so definitely check it out when it's available for you to rent at home and i'll go three for three on this one by saying add to the queue you know you guys kind of covered it all so I thank you for that. Well, thank you, gentle men, for joining me on this review for men. You know, like, we got to stop saying men like, now. I feel like I just want to <laughs> say men only. The men <laughs> only. Like, Why? This, this podcast is about this is men all <laughs> it's, the time. It's, the way you were saying men to it, uh, Shay, reminded me of like uh, the Joker in the Dark Knight. It was like, "Good evening, ladies and gentlemen." I'm men. like, okay, yeah, men. Really emphasize the men. Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah, he does. Rest in peace, Heath Ledger. One love. Um, but again, thank you for listening to a review of Men by Alex Garland. As always, you can catch a brand new episode of the movie podcast every single Monday and watch out throughout the week for our review episodes just like this one. We drop all the latest movies in the series. Make sure to follow us at the movie podcast on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd, LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, wherever. MySpace, we're still on it too. We just haven't really done anything with MySpace yet. I don't know. I mean, I don't think anyone has. No one wants wants to go to MySpace, man. Nobody wants. Yeah, I don't even know what the password is anymore. Who knows what's going to go on with Twitter in the next couple weeks or months? So maybe we will go on MySpace let's hope let's hope twitter doesn't get fucked uh and uh, always leave us review on apple Podcasts. get us to 200 and also leave us a review on spotify if you can too hello at the movie podcast.ca is the email that you want to send all your love letters to and join our discord as well that was this time with the movie podcast and we'll see you next